As you can see, different types of airplane may present geometries significantly different from one to the other. So let's take a look at the various parameters we can define in order to describe this geometry. First, we can notice that an airplane generally possesses a plane of symmetry in which one half wing is mirroring the other one. This is quite obvious here on the F100M, where even the propellers are symmetric on each side of the plane, but it is also true for the Concorde as well. Inside this symmetry plane, we can choose an axis going from the tail to the nose that we call the longitudinal axis X. Perpendicular to the symmetry plane, we have the lateral or wing axis Y. You see that the wing is not truly parallel to this Y axis. In fact, each half wing forms an angle delta with the axis. We call this angle the dihedral angle. When, as on this A400M, the wing is going downward from the root to the tip, the dihedral angle is negative. The distance between the wingtips, measured along the y-axis, is the span, B. The front limit of the wing is called the leading edge, and the aft one is called the trailing edge. Any segment we can draw between the leading edge and the trailing edge is called a chord, with a length noted C. We have a root chord, and also a tip chord, and the manufacturer can choose a particular one called the reference chord. Also, aerodynamicists all define a mean aerodynamic chord where the sum of the aerodynamic forces on the half wing is supposed to apply. The wing reference area, SREF, is a very important number. It is the area of the whole wing upper surface continued inside the fuselage up to the symmetry plane. There might be different ways to continue the wing, and different manufacturers may perform different choices. With the reference area and the span, we can now define the aspect ratio lambda equals b square over s ref. If we consider a rectangular wing, s ref would be just equal to b multiplied by c, so lambda would be just B over C, the ratio of the span to the chord. This aspect ratio has a direct effect on the performance of the wing. It is quite low for high-speed airplanes like the Concorde, for which lambda equals 1.83. And it can go above 40 for performance gliders. The angle between the lateral axis Y and the leading edge is called the leading edge sweep angle, phi. Of course, we can also define a trailing edge sweep angle. When no edge is specified, the sweep angle refers to the 25% line linking all the points located at 25% of each chord. The sweep angle has a direct impact on high speed characteristics. It is positive backward and negative forward. So here, Concorde, Caravel, and A400M all have a positive sweep angle. But here, the ASK-13 glider has got a negative sweep, more for design reasons, in order to ensure the back seat is close to the center of gravity, rather than for aerodynamic reasons.